This is SUAS News, and here are the top news stories of the week. It's called ALIAS and stands for Aircrew Labor in Cockpit Automation System. ALIAS is a DARPA program run by Aurora Flight Sciences and is designed to function as a second pilot in a two-crew aircraft, enabling reduced crew operations while ensuring that aircraft performance and mission success are maintained or improved. DARPA's published vision for ALIAS is, quote-unquote, a tailorable, drop-in removable kit that would promote the addition of high levels of automation into existing aircraft, enabling operation with reduced onboard crew. Demonstrated here on a Boeing 737-800NG simulator at the U.S. Department of Transportation's John A. Volp National Transportation System Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts, ALIAS showcased its ability to utilize the existing 737 auto land system to autonomously land the aircraft safely in the event of pilot incapacitation. Aurora's ALIAS solution includes the use of in-cockpit machine vision, robotic components to actuate the flight controls, an advanced tablet-based user interface, speech recognition and synthesis, and a knowledge center acquisition process that facilitates transition of the automated system to another aircraft within a 30-day period. Aurora is also working on a version of the system without robotic actuation that instead aims to support the pilot by tracking aircraft physical, procedural and mission states, increasing safety by actively updating pilot situational awareness. On Saturday 13 May, the LA Times reported that an athletics event being held at Tribuca Hills High School was disrupted by drone dropping water balloons. Meet director Jack Reckler told the LA Times that several water balloons were dropped and that one landed a direct hit on someone in the warm-up area. At around 11.30 a.m., the high school, situated in Mission Vallejo, California, was about to start its athletics meet when a group of people allegedly positioned themselves on the hill above the track and flew the water balloon carrying drone over the meet. The Orange County Sheriff's Department was notified about the incident, but the department told the LA Times later that evening that a deputy could not find any witnesses to the incident. Apparently, a drone was also spotted flying around the area during a practice session the previous night. Last week, Airbus launched the U.S. base and operations of its new commercial drone startup, Airbus Aerial. The new business now has bases in both the U.S. and in Europe and is set to focus on developing new imagery services. The U.S.-based part of Airbus Aerial is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia and is led by Jesse Kalman, who has a U.A.S. background. According to Kalman, Airbus Aerial is bringing together a variety of aerospace technologies, including drones and satellites, and combines them in a common software infrastructure. Airbus Aerial Imagery Services targets a range of applications for commercial industries such as insurance, agriculture, oil and gas and utilities, as well as state and local governments. On Tuesday, the Federal Aviation Administration posted a large database showing the city, state and zip code of all registered drone owners in the US. Release of the database responds to a number of Freedom of Information Act requests submitted since the new unmanned aircraft registration system began operating on 21 December 2015. Names and street addresses of registered owners are not included in the data. The FAA based its determination to post only city, state and zip code on several factors, including, in part, that many of the registrants are minors and only hobbyists or recreational users. You can view and search the registration data via the links in the video description below. On Wednesday, kittyhawk.io announced FlightDeck, a new feature that brings in-flight controls and functionality in real time to the kittyhawk platform. According to the company, FlightDeck removes the need for switching between apps during an operation while also connecting the pilot and his aircraft to real-time airspace alerts and real-time coordination with headquarters. The newly released flight deck functionality is free and unlimited for anyone with a DJI drone and Kitty Hawk says that more features and hardware partners are coming soon. We chatted with Kitty Hawk about the system and the new flight deck feature on Tuesday evening's Drone Stuff this week. You can find a link to that video in the description below and in the playlist for this week's news roundup. In a series of test flights conducted over the last nine months, Rockwell Collins and BNSF Railway have successfully demonstrated how UAS are used to perform beyond visual line of sight, long linear operations, like inspecting railway tracks using unmanned aircraft, with test flights routinely exceeding 200 miles. 
through authorization received from the FAA, BNSF is flying without visual observers on the ground. During the flights, BNSF controlled its aircraft utilizing the Rockwell Collins Control Radio Data Link Network deployed throughout BNSF's Clovis, New Mexico operational subdivision. Using BNSF's licensed radio spectrum and telecommunications network, the command and control radio automatically detects the best tower to aircraft link and manages tower handoffs while maintaining positive aircraft control as the UAS navigates across the range. The aircraft can be launched and recovered from anywhere in the network. In addition, the network can conduct both tower and ground station handoffs. In a press release by BNSF, the company's Director of Technology Services and UAS, Todd Greats, said, quote, unquote, These tests are yet another successful milestone as part of our Railway Safety Enhancement Research and the FAA's Pathfinder program. We believe these tests will provide a roadmap for how organizations such as ours can safely and routinely fly UAS for commercial applications. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Drone and Sundry, and also check out our weekly live show called Drone Stuff This Week, where SUAS News editor Gary Mortimer chats to industry experts and insiders on drone world happenings.